Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological look at the coming week. Um, starting, the week starting Monday 20th of November 2017. Um, we start the week with Venus in Scorpio sextiling Pluto in Capricorn. So this shows the strength of our commitments the power of love in a way. Pluto, of course, lends its power to planets it contacts and Venus and Scorpio has a, quite an intimate relationship with Pluto. So these are, we're talking the sextile. So this is beneficial action. This is creating opportunities. So it's what are we passionate about? Because there is strength in passion, really. Strength in what we believe in, in what we totally uh, know to be real. A Scorpio is incredibly committed. It's not a sign that's known for a wide focus. It's very focused on particular things that it's passionate about. And this is a great week, actually, in general, to really get in touch with things that you believe in, things that you have faith in, and things that you are passionate about. Um, and this sort of theme uh, moves into Wednesday really when the sun moves into Sagittarius so this is really also about your vision uh, what is your life direction where are you heading what is your aim are you taking aim what are you firing at what are you looking to achieve and this idea of vision and what you're aiming at is emphasized because Neptune is moving direct also on uh, on Wednesday and Venus is square in the nodes so when Venus squares the nodes, we're invited to get other people involved, to draw other people towards us on the strength and the power of our own convictions and our passion. Um, so it's a kind of a week where it's very useful to kind of take stock. And again, because of the lack of Earth at the moment, to really write things down, to order thoughts, to bring structure into kind of earth things. This lack of earth was very, um, you know, you could feel it in the collective, for example, last week with a situation in Zimbabwe where, you know, the belief was that um, President Mugabe would step down, but then you see it. It was all funded actually at that point on hot air, on uh, maybe what we would have liked or what the people would have liked to happen. And it was resulted in nothing concrete because as you know on Sunday with the just turned Sunday with Mars Pluto square uh, and Mars representing of course the military as well this did not uh, this did not materialize so getting things material making things real is a bit of an issue for us at the moment especially now when we come into a phase where our passions our direction our um, our longer term plans are starting to uh, draw us towards them in a way. Mercury is square Chiron on Friday, so there might be some insecurity, personal insecurity with uh, regard to our own um, thoughts. Are, are we totally behind them? Are we committed? And yeah, this, this square to Chiron as well, it's sort of asking us to turn inwards and really reach the, our own source and really feel confident in what we stand for and what we believe in and, you know, and to involve the nodes very often, at least in, from the Ebertine perspective, the nodes are often about other people and Venus and Scorpio can be quite secretive, can keep things close to the chest when in fact it is a time to involve and engage other people. Because on Saturday we have Mercury trying Uranus. So this is originality in thought, but also freedom in thought. And not sort of the Chiron bit maybe is, um, could kind of hold us back that we don't really uh, appreciate or um, completely uh, own our own uh, thoughts, our own originality because of some childhood wound or because of beliefs that we have, Neptune now, uh, Chiron, sorry, now Chiron in Pisces, which um, how, you know, we need to examine that if, if sort of certain things in our own thought process are holding us back. 
but that Saturday, that wonderful Mercury trying Uranus, Mercury in Sagittarius, the whole theme of the week really is about your passion, freedom of thought, and getting behind and being confident enough about your own direction and your own ideas to start to sell that or take that away from just a personal and involve other people in that process. So it's a really interesting week this week. And that was my take on it. Thanks for watching. Bye.